Hello everyone. In this session, we will be doing analysis of GATE 2020 Computer Science Examination. So this examination was ha happened on 8th of February 2020. So we will be providing you the solution of all the questions which they have asked in the examination. And the questions that we are writing here, they are the memory based question. That means uh, some of the students sent, the, sent us the question as well as we also know some of the questions that came in the examination. So we will be doing this analysis of GATE 2020 examination as well as the solution of the questions. So I will be doing multiple videos here. So one video will be regarding the analysis and other videos will be regarding the solution of the examination. You can so you can subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the updates regarding the solution of this question paper. Secondly, what happened is yesterday itself that is on 8th February we were I was about to provide the solution but the thing is I wanted the solutions to be correct because most of the institutions or most of the online uh, people who are providing the solutions or the classes they have given the wrong questions as well as they have also provided wrong solutions for many of the questions if you see the solutions provided by GradeUp and all these uh, online platforms many solutions that they have provided they are completely wrong even the approach for solving the question itself was wrong so I wanted my solution that I provide here should be correct and it should be trustworthy. So whatever solution I am providing here, it should be trustworthy for all of you so that you can actually uh, find how many marks you are, are scoring in the examination. Okay. So the question paper was very lengthy. I've seen that people who have prepared properly for the examination, they are able to finish the exam or they are able to finish solving the question in exactly three hours. I've seen the previous papers also in past also I've seen question papers from gate. I'm able to solve those question papers in two to two and a half hour at maximum. But this time the question paper was little lengthy because even if you have prepared well, it will take you exactly three hours to solve the entire question paper. And if you have not prepared well, then you will find that paper was lengthy. So for an average student, the paper was lengthy. And for the student who is going to be in top 1000 ranks or top, uh, you can say 100 ranks, they will feel that it takes exactly three hours to solve the question paper. Does not take more than three hours, does not take less than three hours. This is very important. Secondly, the general aptitude section was easy. They have not asked any question which was very difficult in general aptitude. Is easily, after 15, you can easily score 12 to 13 marks in general aptitude. Even an average student can score 12 to 13 marks. So you can see general aptitude section was very easy, but the technical section was conceptual. If you have studied the concept concepts very well, if you have taken some time to understand each and every concept, then only you will be able to follow through the technical section. Otherwise, you will find the technical section was out of your reach. So to solve this technical section, you need a thorough understanding of the topics. And that is why I can say the technical section was completely conceptual. Very few questions was from easy level. Generally what happens is the entire question paper is divided into multiple levels. Most of the time even in your college examination what they do is they ask 40% questions which are easy, 40% questions which are medium and 20% questions which are difficult. So that everyone uh, they can make a clear understanding in the class who is the topper of the class and who is a mediocre of the class. In the same way in this question paper I analyzed that hardly uh, 20 to 30 percent of the questions was easy and for medium level you can see 60 to 70 percent questions rest of the 60 70 60 percent question you can say they were medium and 20 percent questions were difficult so they have asked very few questions from this easy section only 20 to 30 percent questions was easy but most of the questions that is 80 percent of the question paper was from a medium level as well as the difficult level and then what should be the expected cutoff so from my experience i know if you want to get into top 1000 ranks from this paper you need to score at least 50 percent marks if you are scoring anything more than 50 percent that means you are getting into top 1000 ranks to get into top 300 ranks you need to score 55 percent marks and to score to get into top 100 ranks you need to score 60 percent plus marks so in the past, you have seen people who scored 70% or 65% plus marks, they are into top 100. But this time, the cutoff for top 100 will go down. The cutoff for top 300 will also go down. 
because uh, the paper was from medium to hard level rather than just an easy level paper so you can expect the cutoff to be in this range now how many question they have asked from each of these subject from algorithms and data structures they have asked approximately 10 questions here from computer architecture there were very conceptual questions some of the questions questions was conceptual so uh, five questions they have asked from computer architecture from digital logic four question but they can you can see some of the question they have asked they are from a mixture of uh, computer organization plus uh, digital logic because they have used accumulator they have used uh, the question based on multiplexers and they mixed these questions decoders multiplexers accumulators to create questions which are cross disciplinary then from computer networks they have asked five questions which is comparatively uh, a very less number of questions but again you have to see uh, in two marks how many questions they have asked out of these five so you can again see that they are asking a nine marks to ten marks of question from computer networks then theory of competition some questions was tricky little tricky not very tricky but they were easy so theory of competition questions was easy it was not difficult then we have a database management system from database management system they have asked five question which was based on schedules as well as sql statement so and uh, er diagram so five question from database then from compiler design they have asked three questions then from operating system they have asked six question one or two questions was very difficult in terms of memory management and effective memory access time i guess uh, the two questions from from effective memory access time one was from uh, operating system second was from computer architecture if i remember it correctly then from discrete mathematics they have asked five questions from engineering mathematics five questions and from general aptitude total of 10 questions in this way total of 65 questions they have asked now how uh, what are the topics they have asked in the exam so from uh, discrete mathematics and engineering mathematics you can find questions on probability matrix calculus and functions from uh, algorithms they have asked question from min heap binary search trees as well as linked list uh, where they have also asked pre order and post order traversal then they have asked question from double hashing recurrence relations and we have time complexity and post order traversal they have asked question from predicate logic groups graph coloring and minimum spanning tree then from regular expression they have asked questions from um, i mean from toc they have asked questions from regular expression minimum finite automata decidability context free language uh, regular languages deterministic push on automatas and from uh, computer architecture and uh, digital logic they have asked questions from uh, cache memory decoders and multiplexers in uh, dbms they have asked question from er diagram functional dependencies sql b plus t conflict equivalent schedules and from compiler design they have asked question from l attribute uh, sdts as well as they have also asked some question from introduction section i'll take some of the examples here uh, while solving the previous questions and then uh, in general aptitude they have asked question from geometry uh, in english grammar permutations and combination profit and loss and coding and decoding so these are the topics from where uh, they have asked most of the questions so what is the total analysis how you can analyze this question paper so paper was medium to difficult level you can see it is 70% uh, between medium to difficult level and uh, the question was paper was not comparatively easy because uh, for any mediocre level student or any student who is an average any average student they, they will find that question paper was very lengthy for any student who prepared really well for him the question paper will take exactly three hours to solve not more than three hours okay exactly three hours it will take to solve you for, for you to solve the entire question paper okay so let us solve this question paper and you will find the solution of this question paper in the channel itself and i will provide you the correct solutions because 90 percent of the people who are solving the question papers online they have solved the question paper online as soon as they get the question paper right but the problem is in process of providing the solutions earlier they have solved given wrong answers and wo question paper ko jaldi solution jaldi provide karne ke chakkar mein kafi logo ne kafi galat yani wrong answer diye hain and i want do, do not want that kal maine isliye solution nahi diya that is why i tried i've taken some time so that uh, in from a calm mind i can solve this question paper today itself and let us go through with it okay